All right, we're going into the second map. Hasuops spawning at the bottom right with uh, Crypt Altar this time. Okay, so most likely we're not gonna see fiends early on from him. Gonna get the cigarette right now and uh, he's not gonna get the graveyard for quite a long time. So Hasops with a ghoul build order here. Grubby on the other hand with the barracks probably. Yeah, interestingly placed barracks here, very far forward. Curious to see if he's gonna build anything, you know, defensive behind this. Or if he's gonna go with the super passive burrow placement again, perhaps with burrow number two, like here or here. And well, for, for Hasuops, I guess, um, then we are not going to see the Crypt Lord second tier two push again. Let's see if it's Blade Master against DK again. No, it is Farseer by Grubby. So Farseer against a ghoul build. Yeah, pretty old fashioned, perhaps what you would expect out of an undead mirror between those two played in like 2005 or so, not 2008. But we'll see who's gonna come out on top at the end of this, uh, of this match. I mean, Lynn also played the Fars here against the Hasops on uh, one of their maps, uh, which in their best of three was Secret Valley, not Turina Stand. But Hasops ended up getting yeah, crushed quite decisively, even though that was a totally, di totally different game again as Hasops in that one also went for a Fiend build. So uh, yeah, we'll see what's gonna happen here. Second Cigarette is coming, so... A lot of ghouls early on, no fiends for a very, very long time, if at all. Death Knight is out, I guess dust, maybe? No dust, okay, no dust for him yet. Maybe it was just due to the fact that he didn't have the gold yet. Yeah, now he's heading back to the shop, getting the dust, expecting the Blade Master. But uh, he's not going to find one in uh, this match. Grubby trying to pull the lightning shield, but it looks like the Renegade Wizard a little bit stubborn here. Doesn't cast it, so it's going to take a little bit longer. And Hasops is going straight for the mercenary camp. Yeah, he's going to go ahead and creep the Geomancers first. Easy pickings with their medium armor. Let's see if he's going to get mercenaries as well. Grubby, on the other hand, creeping to level 2 here. He... Uh, yeah, starting his take with a regular timing this time. And um, yeah, perhaps after grabbing some items, he's going to go for a bit of Ecolite hunting. Or at least for a bit of aggression. Tier 2 tech not yet started for the Undead who's getting cannibalized. So yeah, he's uh, playing some unconventional strategies here in uh, these finals. Hasops is. I mean, he guess he knows that with the standard playstyle, with the standard Undead playstyle, he's not going to beat... Lun or uh, Gravi. So going off the standard a bit, why not? Tier 2 tech started. I guess the third cigarette should be added here soon against some incoming Blade Master. But uh, yeah, in just a second, he's gonna find out about what's really going on. See, Gravi. Okay, now he's coming in speed scroll and the chain lightning is gonna be used immediately. The first uh, Acolyte is gonna fall and I think Hasops is gonna have to cancel his tech here. He's gonna take way too much damage. Town Portal has been used. Cannibalize in the meantime. Used by one of the ghouls. And yeah, tier 2 tech has been cancelled. Is he gonna be able to coil this Ecolite in time? Yes, so only one Ecolite lost. But time lost is what's more important here. Okay, a bit of experience gained. Grubby. Summoning new wolves here. Making sure not to give any XP away. To his opponent he's trying to block the ghoul here and i think he's gonna be able to do so yeah the next ghoul is falling as well so things are once again looking quite bright for the orc third burrow coming tier two is well on its way and uh, hasuops quite a bit behind in that despite the fact that he's not going for a lot of fiends here early on just a couple of ghouls out on the map Yeah, Scroll of the Beast should also have told Grubby 
what's happened thus far in terms of creep route here for the undead. Just going for some more creep camps. He's uh, going to be able to get the uh, level 3 here um, with the green camp. But Grubby is not far behind. Death Knight is coming in though with uh, decent timing. Renegade Wizard has already fallen, but the two enforcers are still alive. But he doesn't find his opponent here. Going towards the uh, Goblin Merchant. Grabbing a Staff. Level 3 for the Farseer right now. Ah, now the PN is being found here. Very early expansion attempt by um, Grubby, which I think makes sense. Given that his opponent isn't going to be, you know, coming up with any great threats anytime soon. Yeah, fast here should make sure not to get surrounded here. The ghoul's trying to cut him off. But that's going to be a, tif a difficult task. Especially as the grunts now are coming in as well. The death knight. Well, he does have a staff, so he could theoretically try and dive in here. Behind those creeps. Double beast trees coming again as well as the TC. This time. So probably it's still going to be for some uh, stomp action. And on the side of Hasorps, wow, Graveyard, also too late here for him. So I guess this might be uh, causing him to go for a super quick tier three tech and for him to add the Slaughterhouse or perhaps the double Slaughterhouse, you know, later on. Okay, staying close. Is he gonna get the last hit here? No, he isn't. The um, replenishment potion has dropped. But this Death Knight is gonna be quite annoying. He's got one more coil here. So this Grunt is definitely doomed. Just needs to make sure not to get surrounded. But even if so, he's still going to survive. At the same time, the Farseer has found the Goose here. Two of them have already died. As we've seen by the corpses on the ground. A third one is dying. And a fourth one is probably going to fall as well. So both of them creep checking each other simultaneously. But it looks like Grubby is getting the better trade here. Killing another ghoul. So that's one, two, three, four in total. Against uh, the one grunt kill by Hasuops. So yeah, not so much uh, worth it for the undead. Farseer well on his way to level 4 already. And yeah, immediate tier 3 tech has been started. Graveyard is finished. In the meantime, one slaughterhouse is coming, at least for the moment. Mud Golem bought by Grubby and the Death Knight is uh, under some fire here. Has to use the staff immediately. Is there another slow for the Lich perhaps? No, there isn't. The Mud Golem gets taken down. But surround against the Lich. One Grunt is going to fall. The Death Knight does have mana, but he's way out of position here. He's actually trapped himself in the back of his base. Okay, yeah, that is that is terrible news, of course. DK is right now stuck, so either he can very, very slowly kill those trees. He can get he can creep here and get a Zeppelin. Or, well, unsummon a building, of course, is not going to happen. Or he can wait for the... 90 second, I believe, staff cooldown to wear off until he can staff back out. But I mean, this is just giving so much time to uh, Grubby, who I'm not sure if he... Yeah, and he realizes by now what's happening here. Who can just do whatever he wants as long as Death Knight is trapped in the back. And there's the GG already by Hasuops. Uh, yeah, very unfortunate mishap there with uh, the Death Knight getting stuck in the back after staffing back. But even even without that, I don't think that there was a chance for that Lich to get out of the surround anymore, even if the Death Knight had been there to throw a coil at him. So, um, yeah, a couple of things happened here. I guess uh, the early game, not great for Hasorps being forced to cancel his tech. Of course, you can... Um, mention that he decided not to scout early on. He wasn't aware of the threat of this Farseer coming in for this typical level 2 Ecolite Harass during the Undead tech, just yeah, due to the fact that he didn't scout. So I guess that was partly his fault, being caught off guard so much by uh, yeah, Grubby's strategy. And afterwards, while he was able to harass decently against the Death Knight, the Farseer's harass against his uh, solo creeping ghouls 
was just devastating. And, you know, by getting creep check, he just lost the majority of his, of the army he had at that point. And he had to defend against the TC, Farseer, a couple of grunts, and the Mud Golem, and I think like one or two raiders um, coming in as well with basically only his two heroes and like three ghouls or so, and that wasn't really <laughs> a pleasant fight to take, to say the least. And yeah, he got into trouble with the CK, he had to staff away, and yeah, he ended up staffing into the back of his base, and that was just too much. So Hasuops, to be fair, in the two matches, that no one was expecting him to um, yeah, be successful at. He ended up um, not winning a single uh, map. But uh, he's got three more matches to go. And, you know, there are the top three still stay in the tournament after the group stage. So there's still reason to uh, continue playing here for Hasu Ops. Uh, Grabby, of course, looking strong for to one maps after two best of threes. And speaking of looking strong, Lin... So far, with a 2-0 to zero map score in these finals, is going to be up next. He's going to face Protoys, who is going to yeah, make his debut in these finals, as he was the one who didn't have a match on play the number one. So that's what we'll see in uh, the next best of three. I hope you'll check it out, and I hope you'll uh, give this one a thumbs up and comment as always. And I'll see you next time. Take care.